I am Kenny Hotz, Canada's Zach Galifianakis, and George Clooney, and this is a Down Syndrome Pedophilic Retard, Spencer Rice. Hello. And this is the AU Review. AU! What's in your What's in your dressing room? What's you know? Do you have those kind of real big demands? The no no black M and M's. Spenny, um, oh, here we go. what no, what? Well, I, what do you, uh, I have a midget pedophile midget. I have what else? A, no. a dildo, a big black dildo. Spenny, I have uh, on Spenny's think? rider, which is what you mark down for what you'd need. A in wallaby your... with loop, no. a no. looped up wallaby. Spencer, um, they have those. Spencer. Demands garbage bags from the pug abortion clinic. Uh, that's what he's into. Embryotic. I'm pugs. actually really easy. He's more uh, sort of uh, you know diva than I am, but he's not that bad of a diva. We're diva. Pretty, we're pretty, you are a bit of a diva. As I get me like a, I need like a five hour energy drink or a Red Bull. So when I go on stage, I'm just fucking rabbit. That's basically. It. We don't really ask for much. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Looking into the future, you know, where does Kenny vs. Penny go from here? You know, the show's finished, or or is it? You never got to 100 episodes, and when you hit 100 episodes, I know you make a lot more money. So No, no, because we, we the show is too crazy to, for syndication. Too rude, yeah. So even if we had 3,000 of them, we would, <laughs> you know. Yeah, what can we do? Like, I was slipping the guy acid, eating fake shit out of toilets. We, you know, it's just so insane. The show got so crazy, you know... There's certain shows I'm embarrassed of, but there's no way that we could have ever entered a, you know, you know, broad marketplace. So, you know, we were very lucky. Mm. You know, we did shit that, you know, we I feel like nobody's ever done. You know, I made him think he had AIDS when AIDS was like the worst fucking nightmare ever. And now, you know... Of course, good, now it's just a funny thing. The good thing about us is we're pathetic. Cool, but pathetic. That's what you said in the paper. I don't know if I agree with that. Well, I'm just saying that, that what, look, we're doing who could stand up the longest. How stupid is that? Our competitions really mean nothing, okay. but they're fun and funny. Okay. So if it, unlike other shows that, got, that get shitty when everybody gets older, I think the older we are and the more pathetic we are, the funnier our comedy gets, and I think that would actually be organic for the series. So if we were 80, 90 years old and doing Who Could Knit a Sweater, I think those would be the funniest Kenny versus Spennies ever. <laughs> you know, so hopefully we can keep going. Even if we don't, we're really fucking lucky we did, you know, 90 episodes of a show that, that fucking even Australians know. Like, it's crazy. It's, on, it's still on pretty much every day. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's wild. Good for you. Good for <laughs> Bad us. for them. They, they've got nothing better to replace it. That's Same like us, where there's nothing better in Canada to replace it. What do we do? And so what is next for you guys? You, know, you've, you, uh, you go your separate ways after the tour? Well, we always do. We always did after the show. Uh, you know, what's next? I don't know. You know, uh, who can even talk about uh, the industry unless you get a fucking check that cashes? You know, I can say I could do this, I could do that. You know, we lived in L.A. for 10 fucking years sitting next to guys that were you know, talking about this movie and that movie and what script they were selling. It's all fucking bullshit until it happens. So we don't really talk about it. But you know what? We're still relevant. Fucking places sell out and and it's kind of cool. So right now we're living in the now, right? I've never I've never been able to live in the now and I'm going to fucking shove this right up your nose. He's going to go fucking ballistic. Wait till somebody says you're gay on stage. <laughs> He'll fucking lose his shit. I'm trying to get... For the right to... reason. Not because I'm ashamed of being gay because they're saying being gay is wrong. Mm -hmm. That's why I go crazy. I have to contextualize everything with this guy. He's right. You don't have, he to, knows. You don't have he... to go crazy. I got a temper. And you, I'm like a dog that gets poked and poked and poked and I, can't, I, I lose it. Well, it's Even he, under medication. He pokes so many dogs it's, it's fair. Uh, I can't say anything. He's poked a couple of pigs, too. And, uh, and finally, I mean, is there a chance we'll get you down to Australia? Has there been talks? We want to do a tour in Australia. Tony was talking about that. Yeah, we, we want to come to Australia and do a tour. I would like to come down there and, I don't know. I, I would absolutely love to go to Give you guys some Canadian diseases. We well, communicate with yeah. the, you guys through our social media. It's fun. Well, you can, you through, can our get <laughs> through our social media. Whatever, yeah. Kenny. Through Twitter, through Facebook. We talk to Australians. And you can get Australians back for taking the women in, um, in Israel. Yeah, in Thailand, you fuckers. <laughs> Stay the fuck out of Thailand, please. Let someone else have some fucking fun. You guys are a mess. But we love you. I think that's a beautiful note to end it on. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And enjoy the show. And please tell me you didn't come all the way here for this. That's it. I'm done. Flying on the next flight out. Bullshit. <laughs> fuck off. Can't be true.